Nothing impresses people more when you get your drone and getting that sunset shot. It's the one picture that you're always going to be proud of because it's a unique moment given the clouds, the sky, the colour that you will never ever capture that moment ever again. Now, but getting that sunset just right, the balance between the sky, the balance between the ground, trying to bring out the shadows is not easy, even using raw imaging. But we're going to use a function that we have on the DJI Fly app called Auto Exposure Bracketing, or as you see it down there, AEB. There's, there's two different ways you can use it. One with a three photo exposure and one with a five photo exposure and it will take different exposure levels and then you can combine that in with a photo editing application to bring out the best so we're going to go out it's now getting near time for sunset so we can go let's do some flying let's capture some images and then bring them back put them into we're, we're actually going to use lightroom which i think is the best for doing photo imaging editing so um let's do that come back have a look and we'll show you the power of the Mini 3 in getting that perfect sunset. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. So let's get these photos imported into Lightroom and then we can start the editing process. So we import and select all the photos that we have taken. You will have noticed that I took some shots pointing down the way, the full 90 degrees down. This is something which I do all the time when I take the bracketing shots because whether it's a three bracket shot or a five bracket shot, when you go into the editing process, it might be difficult for you to find those photos that you took and it might be difficult to know which ones are which. So I always take a photo in between every bracket shot uh, pointing down, then it's easier to find. Uh, this is a, a, a really good tip and I hope you, that you use it because otherwise it can be a bit frustrating. Uh, yeah, so I mean, you can see um, actually here, there it is there. So that's one of the bracket, uh, that's one of the shots I took. But let's now import the three bracketing shot. So we're going to merge this uh, with the photo merge and select HDR. And uh, we will then select the high quality for this and then merge. Now, this is something that Lightroom does for you automatically. It will actually kind of edit the photo and it will give you the best possible look for it. And there you, there you see, it looks really, really good. The shadows have come out a lot better as well. 
it's it's it is very good and just let you know that i actually took these photos in raw so these are raw photos not actual jpegs and you can see the difference between them all there uh yeah so uh, so you really can't go wrong by using photoshop and also lightroom but this is lightroom itself and one of the I mean, it's only about $10 a month or something for the subscription to use Lightroom. It's well worth it. It, it. And it has actually improved a lot over the past couple of years. Even now, there's been a recent update and it's absolutely fantastic. So uh, let's now select the five photo for the auto bracketing. Uh, again, just go into the photo merge and select the HDR and uh, high quality and it will bring them in together and uh, in you can see the final result and I'll show you here at the end how that will look compared to the three and the five and, uh, and uh, so I hope this was helpful to you please leave some comments below are you going to start to use this I'll show you how this looks we'll see you next time thanks and fly safe